mastermind of the Mumbai terror attacks, Hafiz Saeed has been arrested and sent to a jail in Pakistan. The charges he faces are still unknown, but it seems that they are linked to terror financing. Just to remind our viewers, Hafiz Saeed is the founder of the terror outfit Lashkar-e Taiba and 23 terror cases were registered against him and others in July this year. India has even handed to Pakistan evidence of his involvement in the four-day siege of Mumbai by 10 Pakistani terrorists in 2008. But despite that, Hafiz Saeed roamed freely in Pakistan and even brazenly addressed anti-India public rallies. So why has the arrest come now? Well, Pakistan recently was forced to file terror charges against Hafiz Saeed in the face of sustained international pressure. Last year, just before the 10th anniversary of the Mumbai attacks in November, the United States had urged Pakistan to take action against the perpetrators. The US had also offered a new reward of $5 million for helping secure their capture. And now, here comes Hafiz Saeed's arrest. I'm joined by Hindustan Times foreign editor uh, Rizal Lashkar. Uh, Rizal, how can we expect this to play out in Pakistan? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it is significant that Hafiz Saeed has been arrested. He was actually traveling from what we've been able to pick up. He was traveling from Lahore to Gujrawala, where he was planning to seek bail in connection with these 23 cases that were registered on July uh, third right. against him and 12 other members of uh, lashkar e taiba jamaat ud dawa these were all uh, terror financing cases they were all accused of using a group of trusts and you know front organizations to raise funds for the lashkar e taiba and jamaat ud dawa so clearly i mean uh, there are some reports suggesting that he may be in judicial custody there are other reports saying that he's been moved to an unknown location uh, clearly he would be I would assume from my experience of Pakistan that he would be held by the intelligence agencies at some stage he would be produced in court uh, his lawyers would ask for bail you know as I said right at the time he was arrested he was going to Gujrawala to seek uh, you know uh, kind of anticipatory bail mm -hmm. so you know this is going to play out now in the courts uh, the, the whole the legal process will play out and then we'll see what happens but do you feel that Pakistan is serious about this or this is just another uh, facade uh, that 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 uh, in the in the long list of well, facades I mean, that have been kept up uh, ever since India has been and international pressure has been mounting. Well, you know, I mean, in the case of Hafiz Said, I can hardly think this is going to be anything serious. I mean, he was picked up at the time of the Mumbai attacks. He was picked up after the Mumbai attacks. Uh, he was picked up last year when there was pressure on Pakistan from the Financial Action Task Force. Right. Uh, I really don't think, you know, I mean, I, this is not something that I would take very seriously. It it it, it seems more like a, a measure aimed at you know kind of satisfying the international pressure that is on pakistan to act on terror financing and uh, the fatf pressure is what you think this is and eventually because last year also when uh, i think 2017 when he was captured he was released after 11 months because no action was taken after he was captured well well i mean, said, I mean okay let him go yeah. because you, you're not doing anything yeah right. you know and the most significant thing is that you know uh, he was picked up even after the mumbai attacks under various laws you know and held in uh, house arrest but the significant thing, the only change I see between the time of the Mumbai attacks and this time, uh, this time there are actually cases that have been registered against Hafiz Saeed. For the first time, the Pakistani authorities have sort of produced evidence that uh, the Jamaat ud dawa the lashkar e taiba were fundraising for terror activities. That haven't, hasn't happened in the past. In the past, he was always picked up uh, under the maintenance of public order act and these were uh, you know other laws which allowed for short term detentions this is the first time that a case has been filed uh, there are charges against him so maybe this you know this may, time yeah it may it may, just, uh, it may take a little longer yeah. to sort out but you know i'm i'm not holding my breath as far as hafiz said being in jail is concerned uh, how much of this is international pressure uh, of course uh, you said that there is uh, enough bit of pressure from the F FATF to sort of crack down on terror financing from, from Pakistan and within Pakistan. But how much of this could be a part of overtures or diplomatic overtures of the Modi government? Do you feel that has also played a role in this in this uh, scheme of things? Well, the Modi government has been putting pressure on Pakistan for a long time on terror and that hasn't really you know resulted in the arrest of someone like uh, Hafiz Saeed or Masood Azhar. Uh, this is more, I think, to do with the kind of international pressure that has been mounted on uh, Pakistan for uh, over terrorism and terror financing. Uh, obviously, the Indian government has also had a key role in this uh, these moves. But this is also, you know, this is the sort of pressure that's coming from the FATF. Pakistan has time till about September, October 
to get their act in order on the financial front. If they don't, they, there is a possibility that they could get blacklisted. But, you know, I mean, FATF, the presidency has now been assumed by China, which is an ally of Pakistan. Pakistan will be looking for some sort of easing of the pressure. Maybe this is just another move to kind of satisfy the FATF and kind of get the pressure off its back. Whether this will result in some long-term changes uh, on the use of terrorism against India, I'm not too clear. And also terror financing as far as mm. what do you think are going to be the next steps, uh, Rizal? You've been following uh, uh, Pakistan and uh, India-Pakistan relations for the longest time. How do you think this is going to have impact? Have an impact if any? You know, can can India ask for an extradition? I mean, is that a remote possibility? Well, I don't think there's any possibility, even if India were to ask, that Pakistan would hand over someone like Hafiz Saeed. Uh, on the other hand, Pakistan has been making a lot of overtures in the past few weeks and months for talks with India. Clearly, India is really not interested in having talks right now. India feels, you know, there is no real need to engage with pa Pakistan. Uh, there At has least been, until they yeah, stop their... Uh, yeah, there, 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 there's been a very clear message yeah. that has been sent out by the Modi government that there cannot be talks as long as Pakistan continues to use terrorism as an instrument of state policy. Yeah. The only sort of engagement we have right now going is, uh, the, is the work that two sides are doing on the Kartarpur corridor, which is expected to be opened in November so that uh, Sikh pilgrims from India can go and visit the right. Kartarpur uh, Gurdwara. Right. Thank you, Rizal. Thank you so much. We'll keep coming back to you more with more. Keep watching HindustanTimes.com.